advise me to give up every hope? In your position, I would say yes. Joker, and I enjoyed uh, the fact that people in, in, they enjoyed me mm -hmm. telling them jokes, and uh, they would uh, it would give them a good impression of me. Mm -hmm. I think that was the reason why I could still to, I tried to to muster up the the, the the strength to tell a story so somebody would would notice me. Mm -hmm. And you could do it, and I could do it. Yes, strangely. In fact, uh, some of the nurses remarked, uh, you know, how, how well I told the story. <laughs> and, uh, and how good humored you were, I suppose. Yes. Although others others uh, didn't understand me so well. And told me to get the wrong look off my face. There was one nurse in particular, of course, I won't mention any names, but there was one nurse in particular who, who uh, I didn't think really belonged there. And, you know, awful like that. Pardon? Probably she didn't know. Because uh, I... I uh, I was sitting there, and my face was, must have been a, a mile long, and uh, she more or less criticized me for it. She, uh, so this much as to say, ah, there's nothing wrong with you, what are you looking so glum about? Mm -hmm. And I, I have to believe that. I have to believe that she, she was right. There was really nothing wrong with me. All I had to do was be a man and snap out of it. And that made you feel worse. That it? made me feel worse. <laughs> That's the sort of thing that people would do, and still do quite frequently, when somebody is depressed or looks that way and say, oh, well, just snap out of it, and uh, then the person feels worse because 
They think they should, and they can't. So, a lot of people, you know, say, oh, I feel kind of depressed today. I think everybody has ups and downs through, through, through life, you know. Mm -hmm. But there's no comparison. I had ups and downs before I ever had one of these depressions of which I'm speaking now. Mm -hmm. uh, there are no words that can, that can, uh, can describe the difference between it and the ordinary ups and downs that, uh, that, everyone, that everyone has. Because in these ups and downs through life, you, uh, you know that, well, tomorrow I'm going to feel better, the sun will be shining, and so on. But when you're in this type of depression I speak of, it doesn't matter whether it's a black of night or whether the sun is shining, whether it's pouring rain, or whether it's snowing or anything else, nothing looks, not looks good. It's all blackness. It's, it's very difficult to put a thing right into words. Well, there's an old saying about this place called hell where bad people go to after they're dead, after they die, that the worst part about hell is not the flames, it's the hopelessness. And I think that is the part of hell that a person in depression really tastes. The hopelessness. The hopelessness, that terrible hopelessness comes over. Everything is black. There, nothing looks, nothing, uh, you can see, there's nothing cheerful in anything. All you see, all I could see was death. Uh, for instance, I'd say, what, what's the use of, of getting up? What's the use of eating? I'm only going to die someday anyway. What's the use of doing anything? Because uh, it's pointless. It's all going to end in death. Whether I uh, arrange to do it to myself or whether I just sit it out.
wake from a horrible dream. Pajamas. In my pajamas, obviously. But period. 